Hello everyone, I'm Rahul and this is my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about the movie review of Midday Black, Midnight Blue. Uh, every so often there is a film that embeds itself in your mind then can be a both a blessing and a curse as you find it circling back into your co-sequence when you thought began to drift. All the emotions can come rushing back, hitting you out of the nowhere and making you remember the stumbling experience that tear throws everything as you may have doing. Will this can be a painful in a world where many films fade to your memory as soon as you see them. It is a nice to be reminded of that the power that cinema can hold when you open your mind it. In particular, once you grow used to the pattern that play out in a story, there is a something only about in the films that are something more of you. They can become the emotional epics and that play out in a small moment, daring you to look deeper and push back to the discomfort. Fighting right to the specific sweet spot is a mighty black knight, a film whose story would be a sound simple if we had just typed down to what happened in one of the those works when they providing a plot overview. Almost feel like a minimize every is a required a grounding point. Basic art that it follow a man by the name of Len who has the experience of immense loss of continue to haunt them. Played by a Chris Stack to recent interview with Vampire series in a cell of who once the isolated in a remote home that used to be a full of life with all the joy that can provide from music to a laughter. It now feels like a prison from which he cannot escape. Played by the Smith Saul, who also wrote and directed the film of Daniel Tolbert, he is a specter that lean of seas. The married words who previously worked with the Saul to the series of Godless. This uh, providing anything more than the overview would be good to the descriptions and evocation experience the film takes you on which is the best entered into the little of foresight. To best let it uh, wash you away. Would you end the spending down for all the exposure that is much of the unwedly about the mighty black midnight blue as we discovered that the time is slipping through. Making it unclear when something is unhappened on how close together events are. It is a film that is the most likely to know yet. This is the first as the film goes in a laying out what is that is actually happening and where is a risk will revealing too much. There remains a plenty of uncertainty that becomes the all-consuming scene between the path and leap or one whenever we hear the small real collection. It is also at the point when one of my second viewing of the film as a festival with an audience somewhere driven away by darkness it drove into the subsequently walked out. It reconstitutes nearly everything that come before how I came locking himself away from the world allow these nightmares to take root it does not do not blame but uh, began to disconnect of some of the how isolation can fray it out. Running just under the 90 meters of film well of uh, acted written and directed it still not be everyone's cup of tea by means this is not say to has to be a some of the boldest work out there are never going to be universally believed but it are worthy giving a chance all the same will or we often go to the movie expecting a story that easy answer that the offer of narrative close it so we can step outside into the world and also of a world of sense of tranquility and as opposed to a dawn there is also something to be said about that so it may be a leave some feeling adrift as a result but the truth of its emotional experience would demanding nothing less. This movie is a A rating and midnight black of a midday black midnight blue is a select theater and a VOD now. So thank you so much and please subscribe my YouTube channel.